Hi guys, when I say that Brexiteers aren't very clever, I'm talking about people who voted for Brexit and still think it's a good idea. There are some very nice people who are Brexiteers, but there are some like Matt Parry who aren't so much. So the commentator attacked David Lammy, the arch remainer, whatever that means, for wanting closer ties with the European Union. Now this is something that Nigel Farage was promoting post-Brexit, not membership, but a good relationship with the EU. Anyway, Lammy's comments caused Mike to have a mini meltdown. Enjoy. I mean, David Lammy, as you say, Shadow Foreign Secretary, arch remainer, you know, and, and has never made any secret of that. Uh Why would he make a secret of that? Has he been in the closet or something when it comes to Brexit? He's pretending to be a Brexiteer, but in reality he was a Remainer. I've never heard David Lammy say, I was actually, I'm actually a Brexiteer, or be very supportive of Brexit. Weird. And when he says, oh, we'll stop dating the EU, he's really just extending what Keir Starmer's position mm -hmm. was revealed as being when he went to the conference in Canada, that, you know, we'll start following our guidance along EU lines. What I simply don't understand is, don't they realise that the British people are not stupid and that if you look at the situation in Europe, we, the UK, are doing better than Germany, which used to be the powerhouse of Europe. Poland is doing better than Germany because they don't follow the EU lines. Mm. <laughs> Poland is a member of the European Union. You just said, well, Brexit is a success because we're not a member of the European Union and we're doing better than Germany. Okay, and then in the same breath, you said, well, Poland is doing better than Germany. But Poland, Mike, is a member of the European Union. Do you, do you not understand that? Heck, your argument is, well, the reason we left and it's a good, good reason to be out is because we're doing better than Germany. But look, there are other countries in the European Union that are doing better than Germany. Then it's nothing to do with Brexit. David Lammy's talking about Italy and Britain are talking together to try and do something about the migrants crossing Europe. Italy is in the European Union, Mike. Once again, do Brexiteers like this think that when Britain left, that everyone else left too, that the European Union ceased to exist? Does he not understand that Italy is a member of the European Union? And the UK, even if it's outside, can still have a relationship with the European Union. He's actually commending this one. So that's European cooperation, which is very positive. But we all know what Labour's hidden agenda is, we think, is... <laughs> we, we all know what Labour's hidden agenda is, I think. <laughs> which is it? You know or you think? Because they're different. That more people will be welcome to come to this country if Labour get in than less. More people will be welcome. Um, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Now, for Brexiteers and the right wing, it's a bad thing. We prefer to have businesses struggle. We don't want them to have access to the workers they need. We want to have barriers to trade. We don't want to have good relations with the European Union. We want to have good relations with members of the European Union like Italy or like Hungary or like Poland. Uh, but we don't want to have a good relationship with the EU. We do, do these people not understand that these are member states of the European Union? That whatever agreements they have with the UK, they'll have to be signed off by the European Commission or the European Union itself. You know, the, the reason they're members is because there are benefits for those countries. But here you have a Brexiteer saying, well, you know, you know, Brexit is a success because we're doing better than Germany. And then points to Poland, who's a member of the European Union, and say, well, P Poland's also doing better than Germany. Like, I don't know if that's true or not. You know, you can look at the data and read it in whatever way you want. Even if it were true, it blows a massive hole in his argument. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.